Now let's get to the biggest news of the day involving James Harden. Our senior insider Adrian Wojnarowski says James is cleared to play in game five against the Bucks tonight. This is huge. Woj reporting Harden worked his hamstring through shoot around without an issue. He will do the same on the court prior to tip tonight. Vince, this man was ruled out officially yesterday. I got the yesterday. notice in my email <laughs> inbox. You have been in James Harden's shoes. What is it like to try to play hurt in such a high pressure game? Uh, I mean, it's the playoffs and, and you, you want to do whatever you can for your team. Uh, you, you just want to be careful. And, and obviously he's he, he knows how important it is. But trying to play through it is it's, it's difficult. It's difficult because there's some of the things that comes natural to you that you can't do anymore. For, for me, it was jumping. <laughs> uh, so so for, for, for James Harden, he's a point guard. He uses his body, his quickness, and his ability to get in the paint. And you see there, what, once he got in the paint and step, that's when you find out what's, uh, how, how he actually feels because you're going through shoot around, you go through everything, but when you have to guard somebody or beat someone off the dribble, that's when that hamstring will be tested. You know, I applaud James Harden for pushing, and I certainly understand the urgency, guys. But I do wonder, is it absolutely it. vital? I mean, I think Say we've it. gotten lulled to sleep just a little bit on the capabilities of one Kevin Durant, <laughs> yeah. who, although the Elias stats bear out that when teams are missing two of their top three scores, they only win like 25% of the time. But if one of those top three is Kevin Durant, I think you still have a really strong chance. And so, for me, I'm at, okay, James Harden is going to go tonight, but will he be able to play tonight? are two different conversations in terms of the duration and the intensity of the basketball game. Honestly, to me, what might tip that balance isn't as much whether James Harden is or isn't on the court or how much of James Harden he really is. What is the officiating going to be like? Mm. And I am not. I want to make this clear. I am not saying will it be fair or unfair for either team. Obviously, there is a range of how games are officiated in terms of physicality. That is what I am talking about. How much are they, quote, letting the guys play versus calling a game tightly? I was courtside for game four, I can tell you. They let those guys play. It was one that of the was more old school basketball. physical, old yes. school basketball <laughs> games I have been at in a long time. So, Vince, I was courtside for your games. Those <laughs> were rough and tumble games at the beginning yes. of your career. Yes. At the end of your career, not quite so much, right? <laughs> that so game much. on Sunday was an old school basketball game, and that meant that P.J. Tucker, who is an old school basketball player, could get in Kevin Durant's airspace, physical space, body space, hip space, ankle space. <laughs> space in a way Mental. that frankly absolutely Monica in a way that we did not see earlier in the series and because of that it made it very hard for Kevin Durant to win that game on his own once Kyrie went down so to me yes James Harden playing will make a huge difference of course he's James Harden but I want to see how this game is officiated tonight because if it is allowed to be physical which I will tell you just as a basketball fan separate from this series I like physical pla physical playoff games that will make a difference on what Kevin Durant can do if P.J. Tucker gets an early couple fouls, right, and whether he has to sit or be away. I will say this, Vince, when we talk about James Harden, his organizational skills on the court, his point guard mm -hmm. skills, that is something that was missing, really, in the games he hasn't played this Absolutely. series. With not a great hamstring, can he still do all of that stuff if he doesn't have to, does he not have to move as much, but still can he do that, that kind of thing? I think early in the game, he could facilitate and let that hamstring get warm, get comfortable on uh, in live action. And then after that, you just see where you are as a player and, and, and if you can beat a guy off the dribble and if you just need to spot and shoot. And, and like Monica said, we, there's Kevin Durant out there <laughs> and they're going <laughs> to he's going to draw a lot of attention and or, or because James Harden is who he is, they're going to just sit under him and make James Harden. I'm sorry, met KD, beat Tucker one on one. Yeah. So the wonderful thing about James Harden is he is good at drawing fouls. Yes, he is. He's drew it. So <laughs> the physicality on them, he can get their team into the penalty early because of his ability to draw fouls. So I think early in the game, he's going to facilitate, facilitate, get warm, and then we'll see where he goes from there. But VC, do you think though that the Bucks would game plan for him differently if they knew he was purely a facilitator? Like when I think of James Harden's games, he's able to be such a dynamic facilitator because you got to respect him from 45 feet mm -hmm. away from the rim. Right. If he doesn't have his legs and can't score that way, then I can plan for you as a facilitator better than I can for you as a scorer or just one or the other. But remember this: he could, James Harden can still shoot the ball. It, it, the the hammy still work to shoot the ball. It, yeah, okay. it, you can okay. still you can still shoot. I, I think with the hamstring more so is just pushing off 
and, and beating your man. His step back game, he doesn't need a lot of space. James okay. Harden doesn't use a lot of lift on his shot. You know, that's one of the things, not, not like a Dominique Wilkins, right. you know, yeah. somebody like that who had a lot of lift where the hamstring is, is, is into effect. So, I, I, I mean, it just depends on, you know, his pain tolerance is, is another yeah. factor in this and what he can and can't do. I mean, he's giving it a go. My only thing is I just hope he's healthy enough and we don't want to see another uh, Anthony Davis situation mm -hmm. right. where he goes mm -hmm. down and the Nets do not have him for the rest of the series. Right. Uh, yeah. uh, like you said earlier, Monica. Yeah, and, and look, we did see that with AD, right? And, and these injuries are connected. So AD had an Achilles injury, obviously, all the way back on Valentine's Day. Took a big chunk of time off, tried to come back. You know, he had hip injuries, thigh injuries, sort of, you know, little nagging things, ankle, right, at one point. So, obviously, when that side of your body is a little bit weakened, you can see with James Harden, are we going to have other sort of compensatory injuries that come into play for him? I will say this about James. The man is an Iron Man. He has played, we looked it up today, our researcher Michael Schwartz, 94% of the games that his team has played over the course of his career, whatever team he has wow. been on, he has played in. Marvel, wow, like, wow. did a shoe collab with him because he's such an Iron Man. This is a man <laughs> who wants to be on the court, and I do admire the fact he is trying to be there tonight, and he obviously knows, not just for the Brooklyn Nets, but for him. I mean, he's been trying to win a title for a very long time. Very long this time, is yeah. probably one of his best chances to do so. He wants to help them get past this series. We will find out if he is going to be able to. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.